Alderaan chose destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy. And paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly. Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. Squadron's on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. Will be done. Fostar Haven. Probably the most isolated trading post in the sector. It's only a haven for thieves and pirates. If the refugees are hiding here, clearly they're not as innocent as they claim. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Fostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. Okay, All let's right. get into it. Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. Okay, I'm seeing you on there. Target starts out directly ahead. That's that's you. By inspecting that ship. Wait, wait. We have always been loyal to the Empire. See? We're loyal. I swear. Not part of the convoy. Check another ship. Good. Check that ship next. Look, I'll pay anything. Just don't impound my ship. I'm coming as fast as I can. No sign it's from Alderaan. Keep looking. So you're not impounding my ship? There. A ship's trying to flee from a simple inspection. We should teach them some manners. All pilots, bring your weapon systems online. 
Okay, that's Pilot. something that's done for me. Sensors and fire a small volley. Just enough to damage them. Then see if they're hiding the refugees. Alright, alright. Scan us then. Just stop shooting. No refugees here, sir. Just smuggled weapons and a cargo of spice. Let the fleet handle those smugglers. We should get to the station. My customers are legitimate traitors. You have no right. Captain, the station's defenses just activated. Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. Out here, no one shoots unless they're prepared for return fire. Even the Empire should know that.
I was always terrible at ship combat. That's a tie. Where is... Nothing shot at me. Tail, Give me everything you got. Do a break turn here. Where did he go? I hear him, but I don't see him at all. Where'd he go? There he is. Enemy is down. Whew. Foaming up. All rebel targets destroyed. Captain, the rebel fighters are coming from that tunnel through the station. The refugee convoy must be hiding in there. After them. We'll deal with you later, Station Master. You attack my station and customers, then blame me? Imperial thugs. I'm with you, Lieutenant. We go on full speed in. This is an exciting episode. There, the convoy. Prepare to fire. All systems down! Those were iron missiles. Where the hell did they come from? The captain. Yeah. After all the run, I can't ignore what the Empire's become. I had Sir. a feeling. Binden, what are you saying? That I don't care who ordered it. I didn't sign up to hurt innocent refugees. And if protecting them makes me a rebel, then so be it. Damn it! Pilot, see if you can bypass his shutdown. Mash any button! <laughs> Keep it together! Catch up with that traitor! Lieutenant Carroll to the vigilance. Captain James is, is aiding the rebellion. Send immediate assistance. Okay. Divert power to the entrance. I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna run into something I know. Watch out! I'm not going to shoot him out of the sky. I see the convoy. Dead ahead. Prepare to fire. Imperial Squadron, this is Refugee Convoy Hope of Eldera. We have families aboard. I'm here to help, convoy leader. No time to explain. Just get out of this tunnel. I wish you'd seen things my way. I'm not going to shoot him. Goodbye, Teresa. I'm going to follow him, but I'm not going to shoot him. He's right, I mean, like, we are trying to clear up Alderaan. Oh, I can't turn in time! Squadron, join the 
this again. Imperials don't rest. We can't either. Oh, my S-foils are up. Look at that. This is so unbelievably cool. Oh, I imagine that's what I was supposed to see before. Oh, that is awesome. Admiral, we're here. Yeah, but the convoy's way over there. With the bad guys between us and them. Echo Squadron, transfer all power to engines. Head below the Star Destroyer and wait for my signal. It's that risky, was the engine. But flying fast and close to the Star Destroyer's hull should get us to the other side safely. With you, Echo Leader. Steady. Hold. Now, fire all boost thrusters. Echo Five, wait, you two. Damn it, Five. Squadron, focus. We are not losing anyone else. Doing my best. Transmission on an open channel. Echo Squadron, move in and give them cover. We're on our way. I'm glad someone heard my distress call. I couldn't hold off those ties any longer. Who are you? A defector? If you'll take me, call me Linden. I'll explain later. Pilot, help me push these fighters back. Echo Four, leave that quasar for now. Focus on ties. <laughs> Then we better get rid of those ties. Fire missiles! Wait, I'm a friendly! Oh, I'm sorry, hi. Hold on my tail! Oh, yes! RB to fire a missile, right? Eh? Well, that's James. Where'd you go? Taking fire. Anyone got missiles? Let them have it. I don't think I have missiles. I thought I did. Love that. find anything. I think I'm upside down. Not that it really matters. Give me him. Following your lead. Give me a new target. Where is he? That one? That's half of them. Keep pushing. Whoa! Okay. I'm so lucky I didn't explode. My sensitivity. I cannot not handle this very well. I'll pay you back for that. There you are. Okay, 
give me a chance here. It's recharging my repair kit. Everything's steaming around me. They won't bother you again. Do a turn. I always pay my debts. Eventually. Where are we going? I am lost from the battle. There we are. Fix us up. Echo Squadron, let's get in position and escort these transports. I'm right beside you. Oh, that was this messy. This is Admiral Akbar from the Royal Alliance. Echo Leader reports you're willing to defect. Willing and able. And keep assisting Echo Squadron. Smith, take the ties down. Sending in a raider to intercept the convoy. 
We have to take that raider down. Pilot, with me. Almost in range. Free it to lasers. Oh, pretty cool trick. Oh, that was close. This is our chance. Finish this. Hold fire. We're wearing them down. Keep it up. Yes, we're almost there. Raiders top. At least the fleet's keeping that. Okay. Raider is gone. Good work. Echo, let's get that convoy to a safer location. Head to the far side of the MC-80. Alright, we're on our way. Oh, Forget I took a beating. Refugee convoy, we're out of time. We've got to get you out of here. Refugee convoy to Rebel Alliance. We're ready for light speed jump. Wait. We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting, to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on Shattered though it may be, as I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Squadron to Temperance, do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. Head on back, Gunny. The commander will want a full report. Lousy comms. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Friss? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> K.O., I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. Or, yeah, it really ah, good so far. There you are. Arno said to expect you. I'm Zarelda Sage, chief mechanic. And this here's the temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Yes. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. 
Happy to have you on the team. Hello. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? Sure. Robotic arm. You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope Thank you can you. live up to it. Anyway, follow I'll do my best. the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Cool. So cool. Oh, hello. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard 5. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I do have a body. I know they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Sure, we'll call me There's good. There's no to that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Sure. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard 5. Thank you. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. We can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE Fighters. They will try to stop us. Fair enough. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, your wings Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. <laughs> the Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Lyndon? Vanguard can handle it, can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that... Yavin, Hoth, Endor... You'll be fighting on the... Dude's a legend. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, a wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Yeah, Star Destroyers are legit. Wedge. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. That's the plan. <laughs> Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment Hera. to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling, well, that's classified too. Everything else, I assume. General Sindula keeps us busy. That's cool. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too, at Sky Strike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Right. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. You gonna send her? Hello. Hi. Grace Salia Vatara Sina. Grace, if you like. Hello, it's Grace. I've been with Vanguard Belle. long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Uh, another former well, Imperial. Everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes. Unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters for the Empire. So maybe not you yourself, and just your family. I take great delight in blasting those fighters to Stardust. I trust you will too. Yes, ma'am. Right sure. I can talk to Kale. Hello. Oh, hey. I'm Kyo Venzi. Kyo, sorry. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. Thank you. You'll do great things with us. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. Very nice. Let's get right in. Thank you. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're Later. ready. See you out there. Farewell. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. 
but I learned to shoot a blaster. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hotshots and lone wolves need to hear it. Get to your ship. I'll do my best. Nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name, and only when she's mad. I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or New Republic, or whatever we are now. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? Huh? Or that the Imperial Governor was gonna show it off to Admiral Thrawn? That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Death mark or not. Yes, sir. Hey, you play Sabak? I do, actually. I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh... Go a few rounds, huh? For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? So, we're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong. Yeah, that's about right, I would say. If you're good and lucky, let's stay optimistic. Let's take it out. Let's not delay. Ready, Vanguard? We're heading for the heart of the action. Vanguard, follow his lead. It's damn good to see you, Wedge. We've taken heavy losses. We need that Star Destroyer stopped. Don't you worry. We're here to hijack it. You're what? We're stealing it. <laughs> Interceptors. Those have got to be the first to go. Agreed. They're fast. They'll rip right through our fighters. Vanguard, prioritize targets. All right, destroy the ties. Boom. Nice work. Oh my. Wedge, we've taken heavy losses. We need to make a few repairs, then get ourselves out of here. Roger that, Talus Leader. And don't worry about the Imperials. We'll keep them busy. You're really gonna steal that Star Destroyer? Look at how beautiful Yavin is. Okay, Vanguard, on me. Let's head for the Victorum. Is it behind? No, no, I just wasn't up. Gotta destroy the breach point. I gotta go out for a wide turn. Well, I'm working on it, Gunny. You got a tail. 
And I blew it open. Now. Send in the team, send in the team. Clear the skies. These Imperials just keep coming. I'm in a real bind here. <laughs> We good, we good. That's it. All fighters destroyed. Are you sure about that? Under heavy fire. Five, get over the Yes! Thanks, Five. I owe you one. No problem, Frisk. Great work. Your wings are on their way. We can bring the boarding team in safely. It was. I mean Vanguard. Let's regroup at the Victorum. The boarding team might need support. We're almost through those blast doors! We've got another Imperial carrier! Make that three carriers! That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in! Taking control now! Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, they got control. It's taken down its own carrier. What a sight. Yes, the ship is ours. I didn't even see that one get shot. And Project Starhawk has a stone destroyer. You can take it from here, Vanguard. I'll escort Talos Group to safe harbor. Great work. General Sardula will be impressed. Wedge, out. This is where the boss keeps his secret project. Who'd want to get this close to the Ringali Nebula? I believe that is the idea. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I've given you a tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron. Hunt down this Starhawk and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Greg, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, so. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in to hunt. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan, finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived.
So, you're our new inmate. What's up? Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, Squadron Leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a life. Don't mind me, I'm just spinning. Haven, doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Jabes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Lyndon. Right. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Yep. Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan Three. Let's get to work. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, Reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. Alright, Soul. I'm Rella Soul. No need to introduce yourself. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. Yep. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. If only Emperor yep. <laughs> could have dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Endor. But no. Not that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. Right. And reinstating the Senate would help subdue all of this infighting. Right. We can talk later, perhaps. Now more than ever. Now you're really the short. Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent Thorn, like you. Unity is the only path to progress. I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision for the Empire. We cannot afford to fracture. Not after Endor. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the Rebellion. And they are a Rebellion. Don't be fooled by their new name. The New Republic will fall, just like the last one. It's time for you to play your part. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. Ready on. Von Rags gonna be an interesting conversation. Let's start with Shen. Newcomer. Welcome to Titan. Thank you. Call me Shen. Hello. You look cool. Helmet stays on, cockpit or not. Too many hard landings. Broken neck. Five six times. Cybernetics keep me going. Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. Dope. All for the Empire. Advice. <clears throat> Don't annoy Von Reg. Good talk. Another time. 
All right, you're a pretty cool dude. Okay, Von Reg. You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Von Reg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the rebellion murdered our emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Make cool. That. Ooh. Yes. Squadron on me. Imperial fighters, divert course and leave the system immediately, or you will be destroyed. How it's right. Remember, we must be swift and precise. They'll scramble fighters quickly. No doubt they'll reinforce from the surface as well as the station. Rebels arrive. Don't leave. Sounds like a good strategy to me. Scramble fighters, take down those ties. I wish I could see the panic inside that station right now. We should take out the shield generator. Without it, the turbo lasers are vulnerable. Rebel Starfighters inbound. Watch your backs. I'm on your wing. Oh, I got it. Focus fire on the outpost's turbo lasers. We need a clear landing zone for our extraction shuttle. All right. High value target, and we won't let it escape. Eliminate the rebel transport. Oh. All right, loop it round, loop it round. Say a word, they're tailing. I'm hit. stuff okay well, there should be another turbo laser there it is down low Rebel scum. 
Okay. Heads up, squadron. Enemy aliens are deploying from the station. Don't let them intercept our shuttle. The shuttle is under attack. From what? I got it clear. Fighters coming our way. Come on. Are you in? They've reached the station. Initiating extraction. The Imperial shuttle has landed. They're storming the outpost. Squadron, we're en route to Agent Thorne's location. Stand by. Be ready to retreat. Why flee when we could blast the station to dust? Escaping with Agent Thorne is Captain Carroll's strategy. We gain nothing by destroying a single outpost. True enough. We're clear of the station. Cover our escape and escort us to the jump point. Affirmative, Agent Thorne. We have Republic Corvettes inbound. Move, Titan. Ladies, change course and keep Agent Thorne safe. Titan 3, take out those fighters. Protect the shuttle at all costs. You wanted me to actually protect the ship, didn't you? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Uh, us in. So many CR nineties. Okay. I'm with you. Come on. Well, that's a big one. Keep it moving. Contain those lasers. Corvette, watch out! Oh, I got hit. So many frigates. Gary. Agent Thorne, you're in the clear. You have my thanks, Titan Squadron. And my respect. Shuttle Gladius jumping to light speed. We did it. Squadron, oh. reach the carrier and load up. Let's leave this wretched system. I'm taking fire. A flagship. Move it. Ooh. Nice work, Titan 3. You're officially part of the squadron now. Thank you. Agent Thor may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but their intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, 
Is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorn. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514. LT-514. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? There's Shen at Von Rag. Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. De Sever According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Hmm. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. Interesting. LT-514, Captain I've Carroll. I've already contacted the Imperial authorities at De Severo. They're aware of the situation. This is more my height. I won't interfere. My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger-happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several battles that were frankly quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is... enthusiastic. I'm hoping he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. After your impressive work at Hosnian Prime, this should be an effortless mission for you, pilot. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. Make sure it stays that way. That will be all. LT. Titan, we've recovered the sector coordinates for the Starhawk dockyards, but the rest of the data banks are empty. Engineers must have wiped the rest when Captain Amos blew our cover. They were so close. Oh, idiot Amos deserves to go down with his ship. Knowing the sector at least narrows our search. Vendor can't hide forever. Titan, eliminate the convoy. Let Lyndon know we're coming for him. As your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. Yeah, you're not wrong. You no, know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit Republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I'd trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I guess this'll do. <laughs> well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? I like it. I'm first. Congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. 
The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer. And hopefully, capture Teresa. Now it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. Well, this should be fun. Alright, let's start with Ardo, who's a very underrated character in my opinion. If Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. The sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. <sighs> I can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. True. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien. A bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. Lovely. And Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? Right. I like Ardo. Alright, Javes. Commander. Starhawk's crew. Hera! More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Javes must have complete faith in its builders. And in us, of course. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. True. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions, but what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. Wow. It's incredible. The magnite crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing magnite crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. <laughs> hey, Wing. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? Yes, don't mind that I just spun around. Frisk, buddy. So, the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> Like of course, you. the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new Republic. 
we're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. True. Wow. As you can see, there's the turret and computer about the dangers of the Sabian Abyss. Yeah. Look at that lightning. And we got word that Teresa Carroll has taken the bait. Her flagship overseer is closing in. Good luck, Vanguard. Protect that convoy. And see you on the other side. Mm, you can feel it, right? Chaos on every side. We don't belong here. I'd hate to see what does. Hey, what happens once the Starhawk disables the Overseer? The same as the Victorum, I expect. Board it, lock its systems, and take the crew prisoner. I don't know, Grace. I can't imagine Teresa Carroll coming along quietly. I hate these clouds. Who knows what's out there? We know what's out there. A Star Destroyer with a captain who wants us dead. <laughs> Real helpful. Thanks, Gunny. Wait, look. A Star Destroyer. Or what's left of one. Wow. I'd say it's been here a long while. You'd think this would discourage Teresa Carroll. Yeah, that's the Clone Wars Venator Star Destroyer. So like her, that wreckage ain't a warning. It's one more insult. Getting in for a closer look, folks, simply because the Clone Wars and the prequel trilogy, that's my jam. Look lively, Vanguard. Imperial ships are on radar. Scouts. Perfect. The boss's plan is working. Give them a show. Make sure they buy it. I'm in formation. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful fight sequence here. Oh! Sorry, Frisk, didn't mean that, pal. How we doing? There we are. Oh, 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 oh. I love it. <laughs> I'm ready for you, pal. Where are you coming from? Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise, sucker! Yeah, dude. Push them back. Let's keep going. Nice. Signal's breaking up. Let's push on. The ambush point is this way. Ready? Let's go. Well, you just want me to get there. I can get there.
Finally. We've drawn it in. Nobody panic. This is the plan. Defend the convoy and keep luring the Overseer to the ambush point. It's targeting you. I need more time. Distract her so while we charge the tractor beam. Everything is on fire. <laughs> it's my fault. Captain Carroll to Vanguard Squadron. This is a futile search. Captain Carroll to Go, and I have no interest in prisoners. Oh, boy, I mean, my ship. Get us Get us back into function. Got you covered, Frisk. Back to full integrity there. Missile locking. Ready to trap. Close? Not close enough. Watch out! They're after you! Fire track the beam on my mark. We're ready. Vanguard. I bounced off an asteroid. Oh, this has not been a good mission for me, squad. I got so lost. You brought this on yourself, Teresa. Now. Ah, the scan worked, Titan. That convoy's Nava computer had the sector and system we've been looking for. <laughs> we've got them right where we want them. deserve payback with interest shall we just build a death star and get it over with oh come on grace we're still the good guys anyhow we won right wherever they jumped no ships coming back from that let's hope so Alpha Rem, Remetic system, grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, uh, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain, run by a Colonel Grom. Must be our lucky day. 
Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graal, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well... Lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, no judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. The munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. The Republic will rush to defend Monkala and leave Nadiri wide open. Excellent work. Our final target lies ahead. Our diversion was a success. Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Mon Cala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Baradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Baradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Baradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. So, on to Nadira. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle. But I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Baradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment. I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Thank you. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Baradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Either would be quite devastating. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The Rebels' squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly. <laughs> you know this attack is about more than the Starhawk, Vanguard, or even the dockyards. It represents a strike at everything this new Republic represents. What they think they gained at Endor. New Republic. Even the name's a joke. The Republic has never been anything but 10,000 squabbling voices. True. Though after this, they'll be screaming in unison. Let's show the New Republic for the sham it really is. You're not wrong. Even if we succeed, we're just gonna serve to unite them, you know. But you're not ready to hear that, I guess. Yeah, walk away. Keep walking. Titan. 
fight as okay. possible. Everything we've done has led to this. Bask in the moment. And then massacre your enemy. It is much more spacious than I would have thought. It's cool the door is what accessed the other pod there. General Sindula to Imperial forces. You are Ooh. trespassing in New Republic space. Leave immediately. This is Captain Carroll. I think of the we should listen to Hera, guys. Starhawk dies today, as will you. Titan Squadron, attack with pleasure. All turrets, open fire on those ships. Your meager defenses cannot stop us. Titan, eliminate all turrets. Let's give the Overseer a clear path to the Starhawk. Here I am. Come on, reload. Nope. Reload. Now. Still too far away, really? Now. Okay, gotta get much closer. Alright, wait for the target to engage. No point in wasting ammo, wait until I have lock. Titan, enemy fighters headed your way. Did you think we wouldn't put up a fight? How you spend your final moments is of no concern to me. Titan, engage. I'm gonna keep targeting the turrets for now. I love this part. Here and ready to go. I uh, know there's a turret over here, I saw it. Up there. Nice work. All right, where else is a turret? There it is. I'm in formation. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Taking heavy fire. There we go. Turrets destroyed. That's the way. Took you long enough. Rebel fighter is locked off. Oh. I'm pretty good at losing a tail. Alright, how many X Wings are left? Ow. So do you have eyes on the target? There it is. Regroup and prepare for the assault. It's time. I'm inbound. Radium has made contact with the dockyard shields. This won't take long. Where am I going? Titan, we need to fly past that Starhawk to hit their generators. It won't be a problem. All units report in. You're wasting your breath. They're dead. James told me about you, Teresa. Violence follows wherever you go. Foster, Haven, Hosni, and Prime, De Severo, Monte Carlo. History will remember what side you chose. History has no sides. Only survivors. That's a decent take. Will hold. Only as long as we let them. Titan, destroy the dockyard's shield generators. Understood. Alright, starting with this one right here. I'll work my way around the outside. Give me luck. Oh, there's one right there. Come on. They've locked off. You're welcome. Worry about yourself next time. The first shield generator is down. Welcome. Get the rest. Good. All right, we're moving up. I'm taking a bit of a pounding here. I'm not gonna waste a missile on it. Shield generator down. Superb. Where are we going now? Threat eliminated. I suppose I should thank you. 
that was three for there, and that's taking out a whole squad. My guy's perfect imperial, he's an a-hole. Ooh. I'm in position. Alright, where is another shield generator here? You don't stand a chance alone against the Starhawk. Yeah, I probably shouldn't approach the Starhawk. That's probably a terrible Thank idea. Pulling away, pulling away. I'm gonna explode this time for sure. Hangar destroyed. Be careful next time. I had it under control. Okay, I see where we're headed. You're welcome. Thanks for keeping me alive, soul. I suppose your obsession with me is a good thing. Yeah, she's not as obsessed as Carol is, though, so... Enemy locked off. Do a quick spin here. Need your help. And accelerate away. Alright, let me hit the hangar. Alright. Let's see what's next. Other shield generators are inside. You're welcome. Took you long enough. Got them all? Shields are down. The top yards are exposed. Overseer, prepare to fire. Wait, we have civilians preparing to evacuate. They have no place in this battle. Then you should never have brought them here. That beradium is really working. Titan, finish what needs finishing, then regroup. Captain, the rebels are evacuating the station. You came for the Starhawk, not civilians. Let them go. No survivors, Titan Squadron. Captain, they've launched corvettes to cover the civilian escape. Show no mercy. Titan, take out their ships. If you see transports, take them down too. Alright, let's just pile into it here, folks. Titan, we've detected enemy corvettes coming out of light speed. That won't save them. We need more fire on that Star Destroyer. She's stalling for time. It doesn't matter. She's already run out. Ooh, it's tough to... You're welcome. It's a tough vessel. Alright, where are we going now? Here. Never seen this beam weapon in action before. It's incredible. Look at how much it carves away. Been destroyed. Excellent work, Titan. Just because you caught us 
I don't want to kill the civilians. Worry about yourself. Even though I'm an a-hole. All personnel board the Starhawk immediately. I'm flying us out of here. Okay, if there is none, the ghost will be fine. Starhawk is powering up. I believe they're trying to flee. Pathetic. Titan three. Return to the Overseer for Meridian munitions immediately. Oh, three. Attack the Starhawk. Do not let it get away. Starhawk, make your peace. We're leaving, and taking everyone from the Nadiri dockyards with us. You've evaded the Empire long enough. Today there will be no escape. Titan 3, General Simtula is aboard the Starhawk. Immobilize it, and the Overseer will deliver the killing blow. Attacking the objective. Thank me later. I didn't need your help. Did I just fire one of those missiles at an X-Wing? Show no mercy! I didn't need your help. Starhawk taking fire. Impressive. Hit it again, Titan 3. Well, I. Shooting at me. I can't right now. It won't let me. Why won't it let me? the thing and won't let me fire the missile. To lock on. Takes care of that. Worry about yourself next time. I'm hit. Getting around to the back nice of the ship. Shot. No, Starhawk hyperdrive systems are disabled. Starhawk engines and hyperdrive systems are severely damaged. It won't be jumping anyway. I'm not done yet. Ooh. Titan, lead another pass at the dockyards. Your people needed you, Lyndon, but you weren't here. Is there anyone you won't turn your back on? If there's anything you want to say, say it. All stations, fire on that ship! The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. 
Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But sure. this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Yes, ma'am. Shen is talking to LT. Interesting. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But, in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrila. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the Nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active commsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the commsats, but the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. Future of Project Starhawk and 
Maybe the new Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Hello? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. If I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. Huh. When you're out there, never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. Fun. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target. The Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally. But a commander's true weapon is a squadron. Not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. Okay. Mostly LT has a staring problem today. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And, thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault, and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The Rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. And Bill Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. Huh. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do what you must to start a core overload and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Javes stop you now. Now let's start with Soul. This is it. Destroying that Starhawk makes us heroes. And heroes have influence. 
A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloane's aide, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. Even the foundations of a new Senate. Now all we have to do is win. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A true future for the Empire, beyond Death Stars and Rebels, is within our grasp. That is what I'm fighting for. Whatever you're fighting for, remember it today. Alright. It's a normal conversation. Captain, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that our odds of success are substantially lower than usual. Are you saying Titan Squadron is no match for a broken-down rebel fleet? Oh. Uh, no, not at all. Your record is very impressive. It's just that these rebels are desperate. That makes them especially dangerous. Hmm. A valid observation, LT-514. I expect you will keep it in mind. I took this pasting to see how squadron tactics really work in the field. And I discovered how little I really knew. But now I have enough material to submit an entire intelligence data bank on Titan Squadron. And yourself, in particular. Watching you. you hunt rebels has been very educational. And rather fun. Thank you. It's been an honor to observe. You've made yourself indispensable. Titan Squadron would not have been the same without you. When I called you to serve, you answered without hesitation. I won't forget it. The battle is waiting. Do not disappoint me. Let's do it, too. Anvil Squadron makes no difference. Once the Starhawk is gone, we'll be one step closer to ending this war. But the end of the war doesn't mean the end of our duty, does it? Captain Carroll may be satisfied with destroying the Starhawk, but it's only one ship. Enemies of the Empire exist all across the galaxy. I'll deal with them myself if I have to. Sounds like a good retirement to me. Let's finish this. Right. Shen. The war goes on. Didn't stop at Endor. Won't end with a Starhawk. Whatever's destroyed rises again. I've lived it. They need soldiers, pilots. Always have. Always will. Rebels or Republic. We know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. I'll follow. Titan Squadron is ready. On your order, Captain. I've come to expect nothing less. The Starhawk is straight ahead. But you will have to cut through the Republic fleet to reach it. Overseer to Imperial Raider. Help Titan break through the Republic lines. Yes, ma'am. Moving to position. Heads up! Incoming fighters! Titan, destroy those fighters now. The Admiral Leader in Titan. You should have wiped us out of my karma. Thanks for the second chance. And if you're looking for me, Teresa, I'll just be over here with the rest of Anvil, taking out this Star Destroyer. It's a shame you won't come face me.
I didn't Where are need you? your help. Okay, there you go. Good. Now focus on that frigate. Radar here. Moving to support Titan Squadron. These Republic fools. Trapped, outnumbered, and they refuse to accept it. They'll call us weak, even as the might of our Empire sweeps them aside. Your primary target is the enemy frigate. Tricky. 
Relax, stay nimble, and steer clear of the walls. Yeah, I'm here. Gravity burst incoming. Here we go. Steer carefully. The gravity fluctuations might knock you off course. Titan 3, brace yourself. This is gonna be interesting. Whoa! needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room. Shall we? Let's get it done. Hi, Hera. You're short. I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Linden's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Linden saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. That and the squadron heard our call. And Linden Jays bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight. Because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic. But here it is. The moon is highly unstable. And the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest Star Destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky, but sacrificing this Starhawk will save our fleet, and the engineers who will build the next one. 
and the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's yes, finish this. Man. You should know, Linden always speaks... Spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. <sighs> I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. But Linden was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back, but the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Linden bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Thank you, Ardo. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Linden. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your fighter. There isn't much time. Thank you, General. Come on, look at me. I'm not scared. We'll get through this. We always do. How do you know? Because we never let each other down, that's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you gonna do? This isn't the end of the war, Frisk. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever <laughs> been to the last hand on Nar Shadda? Best cantina in the Outer Rim. What a relief. For a moment there, I thought you were taking this seriously. <laughs> it's strange where conscience leads you. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family. Regardless of their loyalties, they are still my parents. My sister. But in Vanguard Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside proudly until the very end. Whatever happens next will be our legacy. And I'm proud to share it with both of you. Thank you. You, Gunny, Keo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers we're Vanguard Squadron? We have to survive. The galaxy ain't gonna save itself. Let's go! I like Ain't Frisk. every day you crash a Starhog into the moon. General Syndulla to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. One hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. <sighs> Those Imperials better enjoy the view while they can. Did anyone else hear that? Probably just a calm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystem first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swapping a Minoc. Thanks. I knew I liked you.
it's so tough to fight one of these bad boys. I'm having a hard time getting it to do anything here. There it is again. That doesn't sound like a cobwebs. Lyndon J is alive. We're investigating. Stand by. Got one. Yes, they're targeting it down. Enemies 
Let's go. Like that. There's no way through here. We're done for. There's always a way. I see it. That's my flight path. What the commander said. This might take us through. This will be tight. We can do it. I'm burning up in here. No time to get careless. These rocks look the same. There's light. Follow me. Following you, Commander. We're almost out. Uh, we're clear. I did it. I mean, we did it. Let's head home. Chandrilla's ahead. Our P-51 
people will be safe, and we can plan to rebuild. You did it, Vanguard. Project Starhawk is only just beginning. Whew. Vanguard? Punch it. Hope is like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Syndulla sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on. But we face it with renewed courage. Inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of Imperial oppression into the light of a new era.